Okay, today let's have a look at the, uh, the fiber optics kit here from myself. What this does, very straightforwardly, is this generates a signal, transmits it in the form of light down this optical fiber to this receiver here, which will receive that signal. And if we switch this on, you can see quite clearly there, the red light at the end of the fiber is being produced by the transmitter and is traveling down the cable. If I connect it to the receiver, we can turn that light into a signal again, and we can hear the frequency this is producing being sent down this cable in the form of pulses and being received by this unit. If I increase the frequency, then the received frequency also increases. So this demonstrates that it's possible to take a signal from one unit and send it down a flexible optical fibre to be received by something else. This doesn't have to be five metres long, it could be 50, it could be 100. The principle's the same. So once you've demonstrated that it's possible to transmit information from one to another, we can also use these then to determine the speed of that light in this cable. And to do that, we'll need to use a scope. I'm going to switch the signal, the frequency of the signal produced by this from the audio range up to one megahertz, which means it gives us uh, a, a measurable time difference on the scope at the sort of speeds we're looking at, the speed of light. And I'm going to monitor on channel one of the scope the output from the transmitter, and on channel two of the scope, I'm going to monitor the output from the receiver. One, two. So, firstly, let's have a look at channel one. This is the output from the transmitter. And there it is. It's a one megahertz signal. It's falling here and rising again here. If I swap that to channel two, this is the received signal. Again, it's one megahertz falling here and rising here. You can see there's some distortion. This has traveled five meters down this cable and the transmitted signal is not quite the same as the received signal. This is going to happen. In digital signals, this isn't a problem. The important thing is, is that we can measure the time delay, if we display them both, from channel one, that's transmitted there, to this falling signal here on channel one. We can correlate to the falling signal on channel two, that's the received signal, and that's one, two, three big squares on our scope. Our time base is set at 0.1 microseconds, so three it says at 0.2 microseconds. So three times 0.2 is a 0.6 microsecond delay from the transmitted signal to the received signal. And that covers five meters. That's not the whole story, because most of that time is taken up in the processing of the signal this end and the processing of the signal this end. So how do we work out the speed of light? Well, we know how long it's taken to travel five meters down this cable. If we replace this, with a 20 meter cable, you get a very similar trace on the scope, only now the distance between channel one here and channel two here has increased slightly. It's increased by 0.4 division, 0.4 times 0.2 microseconds. That increase must be due to the extra 15 meters, five meters in this one, 20 metres in this one, it's travelled an extra five metres. So that increase in time is solely down to that extra distance. We have a time, we have a distance, we can work out the speed of light in our optical fibre. For the cells fibre optic apparatus. Thanks for watching.